Since your domain name is so important and so inexpensive, it should be one of the first things you buy when you start a new business. For years, my preferred register was Google Domains, but they're shutting down, so I had to find something new. After doing a ton of research, I've decided to switch over to Porkbun. They had all the features I was looking for, free email forwarding, free who is privacy, and all the domain extensions I needed. And the price was great. In this video, I'll show you how to register a new name with Porkbun, transfer an existing domain name to Porkbun, connect your domain name to your website, and grant access to other users like your web designer. Let's get started. Okay, we are starting off on the pork bun homepage. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys how to register a domain name. So very easy, just go ahead and type your domain name right here where it says find your domain. I'm just gonna put in something random because I don't really have um, anything I need a domain name for right now. So I'm just going to put in that and then uh, hit search. And what the search is going to do is it's going to make sure that domain name is available for you. And if it's not, it's going to give you some alternatives. And we see, luckily, yes, my domain name is available, but it also gives some other domain endings if that's something you're interested in. I'm just going to go ahead and pick the one that I chose and click the little plus sign next to it. And then I'm going to click the checkout button. And I'm going to keep this registered for a year, but you can register for multiple years if you choose to right there. Um, you can also add an email address or web hosting. As of now, I would suggest doing both of those things other places. I think Google Workspace is the best place for email addresses. And um, for web hosting, I would suggest Flywheel or SiteGround. And as you see here, here's all the free stuff that comes with your domain name. Um, like I said in the intro, I especially love the who is privacy being free because that means you're going to get less spam because when people, people can search to see who owns a domain name. And without the who is privacy, they can see all your information and they'll send you spam stuff and they'll even try to like scam you out of stuff sometimes by like sending you letters that sound really scary. Um, but are just ads. So doing the who is privacy is great. And then I use email forwarding all the time also, so I'm thrilled with that as well. All the web hosts I use include an SSL certificate for free also, so that's fine. It's great if you're using a web host that doesn't have that. So next we're gonna go ahead and click continue. And I currently do not have an account, so I am going to create a new account. This I'm not gonna go through with you guys. You guys can fill all this stuff out on your own. I know you know how to do that and then click create an account when you're done. After you click that create account button, it is going to ask for email address verification. So pop into your email, find that verification code, paste it in that box and then click submit. And after we finish creating our account, it brings us back to our cart. It gives us this um, notice for two-factor authentication, which is important and you should do it. And I'm going to do it later, but I'm not going to do it on this tutorial. So I'm just going to click to hide that for now. And then I'm going to click the continue to billing button. This is also something I know you guys know how to do. So choose your payment method and then click continue and then pay as you pay for anything online. And after you finish paying, you should come to a screen that looks something similar to this. Um, we've got this little note here that says pending initial setup. Please refresh the page to check status. So let's go ahead and refresh the page and see if that does anything. And it is still saying setting up, but that's fine. We can go ahead and switch to the next part of the video, which is transferring over a domain name. So since the whole point of me making this transfer is because Google Domains is closing, I'm gonna transfer a domain name from Google Domains to Porkbun. Whatever domain register you're using, it should be something similar to this. So first thing we're gonna do is click transfer. And then it says here, make sure the domain is ready for transfer. So the domain has to have been registered for at least 60 days. The domain has to been with the current registrar for at least 60 days, and it has to be unlocked and not on hold. So first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and unlock our domain name. Here we are on Google Domains. This is the first domain name that I'm transferring over. And to unlock it, I'm gonna click Registration Settings. And then I'm gonna scroll down and I'm going to uncheck Domain is Locked. And when we hop back to Porkbun, you're gonna see we also need an auth code. And um, to get that on Google Domains, you're gonna click the Get Auth Code link. And then it's probably going to ask to confirm that it's actually you that's asking for this. 
So that way the bad guys don't try to steal your domain name. So I'm gonna put in my password and hit next. And then here is our auth code right here. So we'll go ahead and click the copy icon, pop back to pork bun, paste it there. And just because I never trust myself to spell anything right, I'm going back to Google domains and copying the domain name back to pork bun, pasting it there. And then I'm gonna click submit. And it goes down to a transfer list. So it looks like you can transfer multiple domain names at one time. So that's cool and very convenient. And you have some options here where you can shut off auto renew. Don't do that. Your domain name is super important. Let it auto renew. And then you can also optionally turn off the who is uh, privacy. I'm not gonna turn that off either. I'm just gonna click add transfers to cart. And we're back on the billing page. That looks very similar to when we um, bought a new domain name. So just go ahead and do that same process again. Click continue to billing and then choose your payment method. Uh, agree to the terms of services and then click continue with your credit card. And now that is done also. Now I know that sometimes domain name transfers uh, can take a couple days. So I'm not exactly sure how pork bun works if you're going to get an email or what, but I would assume it's not going to be ready for us right now. Let's go ahead and peek in at our domains um, anyway, just to take a look. So we're going to click on account and then we're going to click on domain management. And yeah, see, it's showing that the one that we just bought is here and ready for us to do stuff with. But it does say one domain is transferring in and it says manage transfers. And this says pending transfer request. It's also possible, I think that it's going to email you anyway to confirm the transfer, just to again, double check that it's not bad guys trying to take your domain name. So keep an eye on your emails and then don't forget to sign in to double check in five days and make sure everything's working well. Make sure all your settings are good. If you have um, email connected to your domain name, you're definitely gonna have to double check to make sure that's still working. I know here on Google domains, it says that you have to re-enable billing after the transfer completes if you're using Google Workspace. So keep that in mind. Whenever you mess with domain names, whenever I mess with domain names, I always triple, quadruple check to make sure that um, emails are working. So, okay, back on pork bun, the next thing I wanna show you is how to connect your domain name to your website. So go to accounts and go to domain management. And actually, as I was doing that, I just got a email to verify my transfer out request from Google domains. Um, so you're gonna see something that looks like this, and then I'm gonna click cancel or approve transfer. And I am going to then click transfer. And we got a little pop-up that says you have approved this transfer. So that should be good to go. Let's. Go back to pork bun. Um, let's go back to manage transfers and see if this did anything. Okay, so it said transfer complete, adding domain to account. Lovely. So everything's working there the way it's supposed to work. Now let's go ahead and let me show you how to point your domain name to your website. So let's go back to account and then domain management. And we've got some icons here. Um, you wanna make sure the renew is green that it's set to auto renew you want to make sure the lock is locked and you know i want who is privacy you probably do also um so then to connect your website you can hover over your name and see that you have two options dns or ns so that is your name servers or your dns settings now if you are choosing to point your domain name by name servers you click the ns link and if you are doing your domain name settings manually, you're gonna click DNS. I do have a video tutorial that talks more about your DNS settings. I will link that in the description below. I do suggest doing your DNS settings manually because then you have some more control over um, what everything is doing. And then if you move your host, everything doesn't get all funky and weird and you don't have issues. But let me show you name servers now by clicking NS. And then this is, it looks like it automatically gives pork bun name servers. You would just put your name servers here um, with one on each line. And the note here is important. Please note, although we update your name servers immediately, it could take 48 hours to propagate due to DNS caching. That is completely normal. That happens all the time whenever you make any changes to any of your DNS settings. It's usually much faster though. So when you're done with that, putting your name servers in, click submit. And if you wanted to do DNS settings, again, you'd hover over and click DNS. And then if you scroll down, you can see the current records. And then to add new records, you would do so right here. And again, like I said, if you want details on how to do this, check, the, check my video tutorial in the description.
So I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page um, because we did get the other domain name transferred through already, which is awesome. Um, so here it is. And you might want to go ahead and like click it to make sure it's doing what you want it to be doing. And for me, this is fine for now. This is working great for now. So I don't have to mess with it. Um, but if you do have to mess with it again, just hover over, click your DNS records. And it actually looks like since we're not using the, um, pork bun name servers, we can't do our DNS settings. And I do want to do that. So I'm going to click, yes, please update my domain. In general, if you want to change DNS settings at your domain registrar, it will have to use the name servers of your domain net registrar. That's a very normal thing. So that's done. So go ahead and let's close out of this. And the next thing I want to show you guys in this video is how to grant access to other accounts. Like for example, if you don't want to change your own domain settings, you're working with a web designer like me, like with my clients, I always ask them to delegate access to me so I can just go in and do this myself and they don't have to worry about it. This is how you would do that. So you would go to account and then you'd go to authorized users. And here you would just put the username of the account that you want to access yours. And then they'll get an email asking them to accept or decline um, access to your account. And that's it. Now you know how to register and manage your domain name with Pork Bun. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you're building your own website, make sure to check the description to get your free download of my nine-step website roadmap. It will guide you through everything you need to do to make and launch your website from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.